Okay, Agatha episode one was a boring piece of crap, but how much worse can it get? Down, 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 Howdy, all. I am Adam, the Renaissance Nerd, and welcome back to Agatha All Along. This is episode two review once more. I must repeat, if you didn't watch my first review, go ahead and watch it. Come back. It's not that long. And I must reiterate why I'm doing this. I made a promise to Dermy Wormy that I would watch the first episodes so that we can talk about it on Ball Busters Friday night, 11 p.m. Eastern on Dermy's channel. And I will fulfill my promise because I keep my word. So here we are, episode two, down the road to hell. I mean, that I, I'm on a road to hell. It's not even. It's not even the fun ACDC highway to hell. This is a road to an abysmal hell where I'm going to be tortured forever, made to watch garbage because this show is garbage. Let's get into this. Let's burn through this. I'll try and make it at least amusing for you because I'm dying inside. Just a little bit. F you, Dermy. All right, so uh, we pick up where we left off last time. Agatha's running around the house, trying to get some clothes on, complaining this and that. The twink is still tied up with duct tape on his mouth. Eventually, uh, she's about to leave him behind as she runs away to try and flee the coming of the Salem Seven. And the twink somehow mo peels off the duct tape on his mouth by rubbing his head up against a door frame. That's uh, last time I checked, you're not going to get duct tape off when you're like that. Anyway, he then says, I want to go down the road. She goes, what? That's enough to get her attention because apparently Agatha, once upon a time, walked the witch's road to get her power. She's going to have a nice little conversation with him about the road and what it means to him and why he wants to do it, why she needs to do it. It's really annoying. All it does is now confirm that the twink is massively gay. He's massively gay and he's annoying. He only gets worse as the episode goes along. Well, as we go on now, we have to note that every time Twink tries to tell his name or his backstory, magic's gonna happen and nothing's gonna do from that. And he's gay. He's Wiccan. We all know he's Wiccan. All right? God. So now let's go pick up a coven because apparently you need a coven. You need a coven to go down the road. And a coven requires five witches, Agatha and four more morons. Ooh, so they're on the road. She, oh, oh, I forgot. There's a little joke, some more forced fake humor where she says, I'm going to drive and then sits down in her made up car while she, that she created while she was in her trap delusion as a cop. And it's just, no, you're going to drive. They get in the Twink's car. And, of course, as they're driving out, the phone rings. And we have to see that he's got another Twink boyfriend. So I guess it is true. Two Twinks can date. You don't have, you don't have a bear and a Twink. Looks like two Twinks can get together. So Twink says, he's a warrior. Don't worry. <laughs> and as they're going down, we now learn that you can't go apparently three miles without running into a witch. Wow, how convenient for the show. <laughs> how convenient for the show. They only have to go three miles out of Westview to find more witches. And it just so happens that at least two of them, well, no, sorry, one of them, Agatha knows personally. Uh, well, it should be two of them, but I'll get to that in a minute. That's why I said two of them. We'll get to that stupid shit in a minute. Oh, so there's this little rhyme Three square miles coven, blah, blah, blah. They go in. They find a chicken a psychic shop. She's a real witch after they try to bullshit her where Catherine Hahn throws on a, a good old girl accent. My husband died. He left gold bars. Can I please find them in the backyard? They go through some rig and roll. Eventually, they discover she's a, she's a premonition witch, a divining witch. Sorry, div divination, divin divination, divination, mm, divination witch, and... After a bit, a bit of back and forth, Divination Witch hates Agatha Harkness. You steal people's powers, blah, blah, blah. And we learn the secret that Agatha can only steal powers when you blast her, bitches. 
When you blast her with magic, then she can steal your power. The question, when um, Aubrey Plaza blasted her in the previous episode, why didn't she take her power? Because that was a, I mean, granted, it was just wind, but still, I guess you have to blast them with magical energy. I hate this show. I hate the MCU. I hate modern everything. Modern everything sucks. God damn it. Right. So, after some put, put, back and forth, back and forth, we learned that Divination Witch, she's in trouble, blah, blah, blah. And that's kind of the pattern with all this stuff. All the down on their luck witches are in trouble with the law or in trouble with 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 economic struggles and this and that or out of work and, and Agatha's going to turn turn their wheels and push their buttons and pull their hair. Eventually, there will be hair pulling because this is super gay. She convinces her to go after she has a divination moment and writes down a list of names and her name's on it so she can't get out of it. Next stop, Hippie Witch. Hippie witch with a nose ring. That's a real freaking nose ring. That's their. That's her actual nose ring. All right. We've seen it in the clips from this from from the from the red carpet. They're all about it. Hippie witch selling her scented candles, which you can taste. Mm, oh yeah, I can taste you. Mm. They go in there. She chases away the normies, and then Agatha bullies her because this is the one Agatha knows. She knows her. And she's bound, and she she can't get rid of her power. So what better way to do it than go down the road? And I gotta mention now that everybody doesn't want to go down the road because the road is a death wish. It's a death wish. Get on the road with a death card or a death wish. I don't know. I don't care. So after some bullying and this and that, they convince her to come too. Convenient. Everybody's right there. They just find everybody. And after some predictable bullying, we have to go. Now they look at. The little list again, and Agatha says there's one more, but then Twink says, no, there's two more. What are you doing? And I got to mention again, the Twink is constantly being gay, going, oh, my God. It looks like you're under under investigation for killing people. People drowned. Literally, that's him. He's literally basically talking like that with his gay Twink outfit, very feminine, going, oh, my God. This is so, you're bitching. He says bitching. He says bitching or bad bitch. I don't know. It's stupid and gay, and I don't want to do this. Fuck you, Derby. All right, so <laughs> he he's gay, and he can he helps bully people. They are on their way, and she wants to he wants to see the list. But then Agatha says no, and she eats the list because the fourth witch she doesn't want to get, but the third witch is the daughter of a famous rock punk witch who used to write songs, ballads about the road. <laughs> they have to go to the store. She's in a fucking hot topic, or I don't know what the fuck that is. It looks like a gay hot topic. And Twink's like, I know I have an aesthetic, but why are we here? And she puts a glasses in his pocket and makes him run out. And then the hatchet faced daughter of the blood witch, I'm going to call her hatchet face because good God, that face could stop traffic in an accident. With It's an accident causing face. I'm going to care. These are ugly women. These are not pretty. They're either old or they're ugly. Right. So, and <laughs> I can't do this. Can't do this. This is bad. It's stupid. So she, they, they make, they get her fired. They get her fired, and then Agatha's whole thing is, don't you want to know what happened to your mommy who disappeared on the road? Isn't that the way to come? Uh, she walks away, but she's a cop. She's a former cop, so she's able to find out where Harkness is. And then they don't want to go get the fourth one because Agatha, it's clear, it's clearly freaking Aubrey Plaza because later on when they're all gathered at the house, they're all at the house after the gay twink makes hors d'oeuvres with moldy granola bars and everybody's like, he's like, welcome everybody. It's the party. Let's all gather together. Let's do this. I'm ready. Welcome. Come. He makes a sign that says, welcome coven. All right. They're all there, but then they're complaining. Where's the Earth Witch? We need an Earth Witch. And uh, and, and Agatha goes, No, we don't need an Earth Witch. It's 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 okay. So it's, but we need one. It's kind of the most important thing to have. Of course, it's the most important thing to have. But and, and she complains. Well, it wasn't a name. It was a heart. And then divination, which says it was a black heart. And remember from last episode. I don't know if I mentioned it, but Orbi Plaza says I have a black heart. So it's obviously Orbi Plaza, but she's not there because she's a she had a lesbian breakup with Harkness. 
So of course they can't get together because there's no U-Hauls to move again. So what does Harkness do? Agatha goes out and goes next door and picks up that 70s show mom who was in WandaVision. Her name was Hart during Wanda's escapades. Then they just bring her in and she thinks it's a party and then they're down in the basement and she chases away the twink. And then they, after a little bitching and moaning, they sing the song. I can't, I, 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 I maybe got away with it. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. With my intro clip, we're going to see. I can't play it because I will get copyright because it's an official song. It's on streaming. You can go to Spotify. They, it's, a, it's a hit single, guys. Down, 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 down. You hate this. This is stupid. I'm going to tell you why it's really stupid in the end because it... Oh, wait. Okay. I'll get there. I'll get there. So while they're singing the song... The twink is basically sitting around petting his rabbit. I guess that's what they're calling it these days. And then suddenly, here come the Salem Seven. Black neighbor dude goes, oh my God, and he runs away. And then the Salem Seven are trying to break him while they're singing the song. But then the song didn't immediately work. So Agatha tries to gaslight the other girls into shooting her with magic so she could be pumped up to fight the Salem Seven. But then suddenly there on the floor is the door. And then they go down the doors. The Salem Seven. Here comes the twink. Everybody run! It's the Salem Seven! They go down. They close the door. And then they're on the road to hell. And we're finished! That's it. That's the episode. It's stupid. It's lame. Convenience everywhere. It's so convenient that the witches are there. So convenient that she knows at least one of them. Eventually two. Because it's supposed to be Aubrey Plaza's lesbian witch. And also Aubrey Plaza is hot. I'll give it that. But there is nothing saving grace. And you know why this show really is a crime? Do you know why it's a crime? Because I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself. Imagine if there was no gay. Imagine if it was Five really hot chicks. Imagine if it wasn't the MCU and it was just a random witch show without the gay lesbianism. Just five hot chicks who, for some reason, were maybe cast aside from the magical world and want to get powerful and walk a witch's road to get power. There's an actual show there with good writers, good casting, and a, and, and a decent premise. Instead of I'm Agatha, I'm I with I'm I'm a butchered character from Marvel and the MCU. I'm Catherine Hahn, and I was tolerating her in the first episode, but now she's overacting, and it's annoying. That's the real crime. There is a good concept deep in the heart of this agenda-driven mess, but Jack Schaefer. And her writer room of retards are incapable of this. And also, it's it's locked into the MCU. So it's it's already dog shit now. That's I'm done. I got nothing else to say. I hope my meltdown, my legitimate meltdown was enough for you. I have fulfilled my promise. I have watched the first episodes premiered. It was supposed to be one, but then they dropped it. It was a double episode premiere. I have watched these. I I, I have reviewed them of my own accord, but I have watched them so that... I will be on Ball Busters tonight, 11 p.m. on Dermy Wormy's channel. It's our panel show, our weekly late night Friday panel show. I will now, I have, I have fulfilled my promise, I can opt out. The only way I keep reviewing this is if you find people in my audience, ask me to. If you want this, you need to tell me. That means hit the like button, leave a comment. Tell me on stream. You have essentially a week to convince me to keep doing this because it's a pain in the ass and it hurts. It's stupid. It's retarded. And in the end, it's going to go nowhere. I guarantee it's going to go nowhere. But I'm done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on something else. Hopefully not this. Until then, guys, take it easy. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.